Air rips through a northeast Dallas apartment building, leaving at least two people, including a firefighter, hurt. The fire broke out just after 7 o'clock at the Meadows Apartments on Ferguson Road near LBJ Freeway. Firefighters are still on the scene this morning. CBS 11's J.D. Miles is there. And, J.D., some pretty incredible rescues this morning. Tell us about them. Russ, quick thinking and courage really kept this from becoming a tragic situation. There's smoke still coming from the roof of the one building you see behind me that caught fire. Uh, that building has 24 units in it, but the fire is out, according to DFR, and thankfully no serious or life-threatening injuries, despite, get this, six people, including an infant, escaping from the third story by falling or jumping. This was the scene shortly after 7 a.m. when Dallas Fire Rescue first got the call. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The fire destroyed all of the units on the top floor while some tenants were still inside. Dallas police officers arrived on the scene first and rescued a number of those people. Some first floor tenants then started pulling out mattresses outside for people to jump on. And one woman actually had to drop her baby into the arms of a stranger on the ground. And there were about six people at least, at least six people from the third floor who actually had to jump uh, to safety. Uh, up though, among those six were a baby that they actually had to throw down. I told her to drop the baby down. First, she would hesitate, I see, so I told her to drop. I'm gonna um, catch the baby. So she finally trusted me, and she dropped the baby. Now that man, Byron Campbell, you heard there, is one of the heroes who saved lives here today. Two people were injured, as we mentioned. One firefighter. All were hospitalized, but expected to recover. There are 24 units in this building, so as many as 24 families will have to find homes now for the first holiday weekend of the year. But uh, you know, at this point, we don't know how many of those tenants or those uh, those units were occupied. Firefighters are still on the scene. We'll have much more on this story coming up throughout the day. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.